My name is Camilla Linweaver. I'm a current MFA printmaking student at the University of Oklahoma. This video is a brief introduction into my techniques, concepts, and a look at a few of my current works. My primary medium is printmaking, and within that medium, I've chosen to focus on the singular print. This means that I don't create editions, but instead focus on one-of-a-kind images that I pull through the use of monotypes, trace monotypes, stenciling, and some collagraphs. Monotypes are some of the most basic means of transferring ink onto paper. To create a trace monotype, I roll out ink onto a sheet of plexiglass, and once the ink is evenly rolled out, a sheet of paper is placed face down onto the ink and an image is drawn on the reverse side. The pressure from the pencil pulls the ink off the plate and onto the paper. My studio process is very contemplative and intuitive, and I'm really comfortable entering that space without any expectations to create something grand, but rather to just discover something new. Each print is rooted in my experience immigrating across the border and the prints are essentially physical and psychological translations of those experiences. They are grounded in the past but I allow the present and the imaginary to also influence the narratives. I think by not relying on any concrete blocks or a matrix to pull additions, I'm able to navigate through these recollections much more freely. The prints are all finished over a series of printing sessions, and I give myself time away from each layer or recollection before pushing the print any further. My goal is to take my personal experience as well as research into immigrant psychology and border topics and to reconstruct the way that border art is presented. I don't think a viewer initially sees my art as border art and to me that subtlety opens the door to include viewers who have reservations about immigration and maybe that might lead to more constructive dialogue. One of my most recent projects is this handbound book titled Us Them. This book began when I started screenshotting comments I found on social media on immigration or border related forums and posts. And it became really apparent to me that despite these being voices of various different people, it began to resonate as a single idea. Overall, the message relayed by these people and these comments is one of a very uninformed and intolerant point of view. This book is also a representation of the concept called social mirroring. Social mirroring is a term that describes the way immigrants begin to see themselves through the eyes of society. So you can imagine how a young undocumented person might feel about themselves when faced with these opinions on social media and also in their day-to-day -day lives. A person's social mirroring becomes skewed and they become aware of this designated place on the social hierarchy. It becomes difficult for people to disassociate themselves from these views and they end up questioning the validity of their identity, their race, nationality, and their state of being. It was really difficult to sort of look through all of these comments and see these views about yourself and it's, it's really hard not to take things personally and to separate yourself from their opinions. The imagery within the book touches on themes of duality, opposition, navigation, and landscape. It addresses issues of identity, race, the dehumanization of people, and the demarcation of borders by people for people. 
Placed within the anonymous quotes are clear pages that hold sets of mirroring yet opposing sets of words. They are essentially a way to show how powerful and degrading these words can be and how someone on the other side stands next to these labels and really how meaningless these words are when the root of us all is our humanity. The final set of words, human, human, is really my last way of creating the stance that despite these opinions, we are all human. If that is achieved, then I believe it's a successful way of reconstructing border art and presenting these themes in a way that incite empathy and awareness and questions. Um, it's, I think it's so important to ask questions and to talk to people that come from different places and to get a different perspective before making uninformed opinions with no factual backing and simply dispersing intolerant views and hate. Immigration is such a polarized topic, but I really think that there's a way to bridge that gap somewhere. I think when you look historically at border art, it's been so politicized and bordering on propaganda, but for that reason, I think it's been unable to access that other side. I'm not interested in using printmaking as a tool to give life to my personal experience, but rather to use my experience to translate the immigrant experience, which is ultimately the very human desire to search for a better life.